Page 138. Read from the blog of Elsa B. Garcia, Kid Reporter. July 5th. I have decided to keep a blog so the world can read about all the things I investigate. Today, I heard that they are going to tear down the old stone house across the street. The newspaper says the city government owns the house, and just one person lives there. Why does the city government own an old house? Who lives there? I have decided to find out because I want to save the house. July 6th. I use the internet to search for articles about old houses on my street. I found an entire website called The Lost History of Stone House. It said the stone building was once the gatehouse of a huge mansion. A family called the Martins lived there until one night a terrible fire burned the mansion down. The young daughter of a maid smelled the smoke and woke up every single person in the house. Everyone got out safely that night. The website showed the front page of an old newspaper with a story about the fire. The headline said young girl, nine, saved seven people in mysterious fire. She was the same age as me. July 7th. I am going to visit the house to see if I can talk to the person who lives there. I have never done an interview before, and I am very nervous. What if I make a mistake? July 7th, Part 2. I did it! A woman who looks like my grandmother answered the door. She said her name was Miss Lou, and that she would be happy to answer my questions. She knew all about the mansion and the fire. I learned that the Martin family donated a lot of money to the city to help build the library and the hospital. After the fire, they decided to move away and let the city have their land. I asked Miss Lou if she knew the Martins. She smiled and said no one had ever asked her that before. When she told me the answer, I couldn't believe it. My mom says I have to go to sleep now, so read my blog tomorrow for the rest of the story. July 8th. I'm back. Miss Lou knew the Martins because she lived in the mansion too. Yes, readers, Miss Lou was the little girl who saved the family that night. I am writing a letter to the editor of our newspaper, asking the mayor not to destroy the house. Miss Lou is a hero, and it isn't fair to take away her home. July 10th. Today, a television reporter came to interview me. You can watch it on Channel 7 tonight. July 11th. I have more wonderful news. My story will be on a radio show that will be broadcast to the entire city tonight. July 15th. Today, I got an email from the mayor. He said there will be a special meeting to discuss the house. I'm amazed that he took the time to write to me. August 1st. Awesome news! The mayor decided not to tear down the old house. He agrees that Miss Lou is a hero and should be able to live there as long as she likes. This is the first news story I have ever investigated. I love being a reporter, and I can't wait to find more stories.